Dear leg to all my Tibetan viewers, Kususampo to all my Bhutanese viewers, Namaste to all my Nepalese viewers, and hello to all my non-Himalayan viewers. As you all know that uh, No Filter is now expanding its viewers to people from almost every community, especially Himalayan community. So I think it would be unfair if I just spoke only in Tibetan. Um, initially, yes, No Filter started as a Tibetan talk show, but now I think it has um, crossed every boundaries and reached, you know, communities which probably we never um, expected. And I'm really glad that No Filter is being watched in Bhutan and No Filter is being watched in uh, Nepal and uh, Ladakh and many other places where people don't speak in Tibetan. So, um, uh, season nine, we're going to now talk in English. Uh, it does not necessarily mean I'm not proud of my language. I am super proud of being a Tibetan. That is why I'm wearing my Team Tibet uh, jersey, or okay, sweatshirt right now. Um, I'm not very good with uh, putting subtitles. So if I spoke in Tibetan, I cannot sit down and write subtitles. So for all the people who are going to later say that Kiran Pepa Re, Kiran Pege Gyap, Thanda Bado Pege Gyap Deim, Season 1, Nation, Season 8 Bado Pege Rang Gyap Deim, Dogala Nyonju Tongda Mangbo Deim Kudu, Tha Dishini Kalla Gore, Nyonju Tere Gyi Kiran Zula, Saja Gora Deim, Tha Tereng Ni Sung, No Filter Lang Lang Anzo Mang Cheba, We're going to speak in English. Uh, but it'll all depend on our guest. If our guest is uh, a Tibetan and he only wants to speak in Tibetan and cannot, uh, does not prefer speaking in English, we will still respect that. So without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, today is the first time No Filter is um, bringing to you a sports person. Um, I don't know how to play sports, as you can see. Uh, so I have very low knowledge or very small knowledge of um, sports. But uh, today we'll find out more from him. And without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we'll call our guest and we will ask him more questions that you have sent. Okay, let me go find our guest for today. Okay, mm -hmm. here we go. I am trying to invite our guest here and I have just... All right, once again, ladies and gentlemen, if you've just tuned in today... Ah, hi, you guys. So you girl, um, I was just telling my viewers that, uh, you know, prior to this whole season, we mm -hmm. talk, you know, in Tibetan and we talk in English as well, right? Mm -hmm. um, but it all depends on our guest. If our guest only wants to speak in Tibetan, you're most welcome to do that. Mm -hmm. Whichever language you're most comfortable, because our aim and objective is for you to be comfortable on mm -hmm. this show. Yeah. And so whichever language you want to speak, as long as you are getting the message across beautifully. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, oh, you're getting excited for us. No. You get away. Phone yam do soccer say them. No. Oh, I don't have a perfect place to put the phone, so I put ah, it in a customization okay. machine that we have. Okay. Sorry that I dress like this, just because uh, I'm actually at work. And, yeah, you're at, a, at the yeah, store, right? Okay. Yes, and unfortunately, um, uh, or fortunately, uh, I can't be like very proper dressed. I wanted to wear my national jersey and stuff like that, but uh, yeah. it's just certain things that I need to wear at work, and uh, that's my uniform for the work. Yep, no problem. But but while when we before we start, can you take us on a tour? <laughs> you know, of the <laughs> store. Is I'm that okay? Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, how do I do this? So this store, what is this store called? Called where is this? Here in New York? Yeah, this is a uh, this is a store at uh, Times Square. Uh, we wow. in the center of Times Square, right by the Red Steps. Oh. And uh, yeah, and uh, we open on 2019, and then we shut down on 2020 because of the COVID, and then we reopened on August. I'm at the jersey and the new jersey shooter. There's so yeah. many. So they, they, these jerseys are from different clubs or from different, like, what can they do over the country? The soccer player, the jersey. Uh, player, can they do? I mean, we, we're not bound to, uh, to one team or one company. So we carry pretty much uh, Adidas, Puma, New Balance, Nike, uh, uh, yeah. almost everything, Umbro. So. Okay. Have a, we have a good variety of uh, team selections and jerseys. So tell me, how are you feeling today? Are you feeling excited that you are 
on a talk show where your wife apparently is also a team member but <laughs> uh, i'm a bit nervous because i never or and uh never went live uh, mm, yeah I'll, I, do best, i'll do my best to uh, okay. to, to um to get this show started yeah all right so with that because everybody who is here right now if you are not able to catch us live you can do that on my youtube channel but we are here live with Tenzin Yugel Yugel is uh, not an unknown face although he's very very personally he's very very shy and he's very very introvert sort of real and he is also and it took a lot of uh, <clears throat> you know we had to really convince you to come to our show because you normally don't you know talk as much thank you so much for agreeing to come to no filter uh, today is going to be interesting because someone like me who has never prioritized sports you know mm-hmm. i have never been up in the you know propagated color the pr- huge proponent of sports because obviously i do not uh, adapt to a healthy lifestyle myself so <laughs> someone like you a youth who's here who's going to talk about soccer who's going to talk about on so the tibetan national uh, team it's going to be interesting so people just stay tuned we have a first question for you girl for anyone who do not know you girl you can you please tell us where were you born and brought up and uh, you know where did you do your schooling and that was just a short like that uh i mean i was uh, born and raised uh, obviously gala she's a mongodni and mongodke mawa oh wow all the yeah. mongodians do the same thing they say mongod people then, uh, the cst mongod and then uh, then i came here they la they la high school do uh, and um, and uh, yeah i mean i started yeah, yeah so I you started. started very young in 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 the us yeah Yeah, I was yeah. around uh, 14, 13, 14. Ah, 13, 14. Yeah, kind of, yeah. yeah. I was just overwhelmed with everything. So. Yeah. So here, yeah, as you can see, Tenzi Meto says, Mongod, Zindabad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mongod, we have a lot of uh, personalities coming out from Mongod huh, during lockdown, by the way. Anyways, my next question to you, Gil, is that, you, Gil, um, when, you know, as kids, we all have, a passion towards certain sports my yeah. only passion towards one sport was that i love carrom board my den is your tot 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 den like that's, that's what i like i like to sit yeah. down and play yeah. but have you have you always wanted to be a soccer player or is this something is this a sport that you recently uh, discovered uh it's honestly um it's not like i always want to be a soccer player because um i She's a Mongol. This I started. I mean, I like, but I started as soccer over there as a goalkeeper, first time, and uh, then uh, then moved on, uh, okay. and uh, went to basketball, and then I came over here. But I never knew uh, soccer, basketball, or sports is such a big thing, and um, they led to some bala. I uh, kind of opened my eyes where you be a uh, sports person or sports player. Yeah, it gets a lot of respect. Um, there's a lot of good opportunities. Uh, mm-hmm. You can take care of your family if you do good, and you know, get a job and stuff like yeah. that. And when yeah. I came here, I realized it. But soccer is something that I started here. Uh, mm. Around 14, 15, I, I kind of started uh, the soccer too. Too young. Okay, that's interesting. The Kiran, the 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 answer that you just gave about how soccer could also, I mean, the sports can also be a career. Mm-hmm. You know the unfortunately Gonzo Pepe Chizona in our Tibetan community, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, parents are very, very keen on academically making their kids bright. Look, Jung Chi, look, Jung Chi, look, Jung La Focus Chi, and we, uh, you know, very uh, limited time we, you know, give them on sports and extracurricular activities, right? Right. So, you know, I know today you're here on the show, and you are also a father to a mm-hmm. really beautiful boy. Thank you. Yeah. Um as a as a father now and as a parent mm-hmm. what kind of um you know talk on this lord message would you give to other parents the other who parents. you know academically only focus on you know make sure that kids are doing well in studies and uh, you know the extracurricular activities especially sports is right. in the you know background the right. condition how what kind of message would you give to these parents uh i um by saying that, I mean the best advice I can I mean I don't first of all I don't blame all the mm-hmm. 
that is out there that forcing the kids to go through academy or yeah. like academic lok chong jang na khari jang na it's because they she ja la wan ga la wan na over over there you don't see uh what do you call uh, a picture where a successful uh, sports person taking care of making that much money mm. and successful like that um i would say to the parents that uh give an options you know like uh mm. it don't have to be sports it can be music it can be anything it can be drawing it can be uh yeah. what, whatever right mm-hmm. and uh just support the things that the kid is interested in, you know uh yeah. Yeah. not like not like forced to oh love jong ra love jong ma jang na and then uh mm. oh you're not going to be successful you're not going to be make money yeah, uh, yeah. stuff like that mm. and uh uh so how how are you planning to bring up leon that leon is that everybody i want to show i want to show um you know just a glimpse of how cute um you know our tandai ngalang to gegeski puji ore and look at that oh my god that dong ba dela ta da ke wa ye oh my god anything This is like beyond adorable. So Leon is now growing up. He turned one, you know. Yeah. Um, so how would you plan to like bring up uh, Leon in terms of, especially in terms of sports? Uh, f- number one thing is I will never force. Uh, okay. I wouldn't I wouldn't like force him to be or take my, my journey. Oh my, so what's he get? My son has to play soccer. That's mm-hmm. the last thing I want to do. Um, mm-hmm. Second of all, I want him to have more options, like options that I never had growing up. Uh, beside love song round jang or like you know stuff mm. like do some bala. I never had like oh if I do this I can get better and I can make a life out of it. Like I never had that kind of sense of ideas or like a vision where I can uh, work towards. Mm. And as for Leon. I want him to have all the options and just support him and uh and fo- and let him focus on what he do best whether mm-hmm. it's drawing uh playing games uh whatever whatever That's so amazing yeah. um so I, i'm i'm really glad that we're as you know parents we're talking about this tanda ngonjo de simo si dewa people who are watching as many of you are parents so i encourage everybody to you know also partly listen to what you girl said and uh, you know sh- sports like kuchu pugu dunzo like semshu parochi if they are really into it right but you see like future yore lob jung chipu chinimi yar get your they mare feel dumb and then yar kuch hai yore sports is not only supposed to be oh sports in a uh, like i don't want to give no false hope like mm. that's the worst thing to have right mm. just uh just like Oh, uh, love Jong Chi and doctor. Like I want, I want my son or daughter to mm. be a doctor, and then you force it, force it, force it, right? Yeah. And, but if the kid is, if, if the kid is not good at it, then he will never be a doctor. Like it's yep. just like you're just giving false hope on somebody that is True. not good at it. Yeah. So, uh, sports can be, yes, it can be a, a career. You can make a lot of money, but it's also a, a sense of health. it's uh, it will keep you away from a lot of things it keep you away Absolutely. from drugs bad habits you know um mm. tobacco like all that stuff whatever yep. yeah yeah and um it would just it's over here what do you say um it's like a sense of therapy right so for beautiful me, answer yeah like a therapy so yeah. when a bad day or like a, a rough a rough week and stuff like that and I go out there and play a kind of ex uh express myself absolutely so, so absolutely for me playing soccer is like a, a one way to express myself and beautiful. if you know me how i am off the pitch uh, uh, off the pitch and uh you will see me a completely different person on the pitch yeah. Uh, yeah. that's my character i i i loved i love what you girl said 
how sports can also keep is like a therapy and keep you away from different substance abuse. Ang puro lotion but then so tinsang uh sports la yung yun so there's very um kala ko gaja mangbu pe cha dwa drugs tang then they tama na po tenya that then they gi uh you know the gaja pe mangbu cha sha people who are involved in sports and I know that Belogovila there's a there's a TDL and Mongodla like, there is a uh, UIS these kind of clubs they encourage the youth to focus more on uh, sports and soccer especially uh, so that youth can stay away from all these bad habits and i want to through this um, no filter talk show i want to pay huge respect to all the clubs that keep their aim like that uh, right. so you get let's move on to a, a little bit more interesting question about someone so good looking like you right and that can in the handsome do and can in the low shin should do ra how did you meet you know like you are married and you have a son so many girls are right now going ah ko ko that there's no chance can in the zuku do but we also know you're happily married and yeah. how has your wife's um, support been through your journey as a football player um uh chero uh, has been uh has been uh, amazing throughout the, my whole journey mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She, she's uh she's truly my backbone as you can mm-hmm. see um she she stuck through me through all the all the all the yep i can see you're all... nervous when you're talking about her <laughs> yeah all, i mean all the obstacles all the tough time i had all the enjoyments i had she's always been there um mm-hmm. i cannot ask for anyone else or better and um uh, I appreciate whatever she's uh, she has done and she's doing and she's going to do in the future. Yeah. Yeah, and so because you 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 know we're talking about your wife and if many people who don't know who she is, here is a message. Hi everyone. Hi Papa. Hi. Hi. We love you. We love you so much. We're so proud of you. Oh. So yeah, Sidoga Uh, I told her in the last moment could you please leave a short video message because I want all my viewers to also know you know how supportive she has been in your journey uh, yeah. but now let's come down to your journey me to the lead was soccer player re okay okay sports player and kare she tangela we we give a lot of importance rang to dikja kala we da dang you know but we all sports person want to pay but she's not allowed we have to give same amount of respect and i think you guys are even better celebrities because you're out there representing tibet especially like you and the viewers like i think most viewers don't know much about soccer tell us what coni coni fa is coni fa la nakare what kind of uh, league is that i mean so i think coni fa coni fa is a uh, is a league for non uh, recognized by fifa so a country is a lot of countries that is not recognized ah, okay okay so, okay uh, luckily we uh I think we got the the wild card so we mm. got we're selected on that particular Okay. And, okay. So Konifa so means uh, countries which do, which you know uh, cannot be listed under FIFA or like you know the Limba Mego. So in the Dutch. Oh, that's interesting. All right. And so you were there. You represented uh yeah. you were there with the team, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um how did it there was one player i think there was a question that said how did it feel that you scored you uh, made a score and you know for such a huge league what was that feeling that first feeling when you scored uh the first time i scored against um i think they were they were the they were the champion of that tournament um yeah. that team that i scored against yeah and uh we were losing badly and then the moment i scored i felt i felt sometimes like hey like you know we can we can play too you know we can score goals like you can you can like kind of uh, uh like acknowledge us like that yeah, you know yeah. passing the ball around um they were a good team they were really yeah. good but uh we, and you guys were playing against whom were who were you uh, playing i think uh, capitalia 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 uh-huh. and they were the winner of uh, the corner from that tour uh, that year uh-huh yeah and uh they, they were they were a really good team Uh, okay. They were making a couple of subs. Uh, felt kind of, kind of uh, like oh, it's like oh, they're not that good. We're gonna put all the bench people in and stuff like that. So I yeah. felt some kind of way, and I wanted to like really, really uh, uh, score goals or like you know make make them feel like hey, you no, know, we can we can ball too. And I asked the band. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, oh we my God. play 100% through all 90 minutes and uh, all, everyone's did, everyone did great, yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that feeling, especially I put it up on my, on the promo story, how you scored. The feeling of victory is something I think it's just beyond, beyond words. Uh, right. I have one question um, about, you know, so artists, you're a Tibetan artist, right? Tibetan singers. Right. We all know each other. So I know, say, I know Pasang Lamo, I know Lot Sete, I know, you know, a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, do you, artists, uh, sorry, uh, soccer players also like sort of keep in touch? Do you all know each other? Do you guys have like a group where you're like, hey, you're a artist, singers, and there's a group, you're that. So do you guys all keep in touch like that? Like, you know, all the ex players, and um, uh, I'm just curious, yeah. No, we we don't have like a, a group chat or anything like that. Like so, all the players, like Team Tibet players or the ex players, we have a group. But I have a couple of my teammates in the Instagram. Yeah. So I, every now and then, you know, um, yeah, I see their stories, but we're not like very active, active. Uh, yeah, thinking what's going on because everybody is busy with their own life. Um, yeah, soccer is own. It's not only the. It's not only the thing that in our yeah. life. Yeah. When it comes to pain, but then, but then, because you said that, it's interesting because we have an ex uh, uh, a Tibetan national soccer uh, team member who has mm -hmm. a message for you, okay? And I want to show that to everyone. Oh, first of all, uh, best wishes for a blessed future for your new baby, and uh, congratulations on becoming a new father. Hey. Uh, so, uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Sering Chopo. I've been in the Tibetan national football team since uh, 2016. And uh, you know, we met in London uh, during the Carnival football tournament in 2018. Um, he was an amazing uh, footballer, uh, that's for sure. He was, he was fierce, he was uh, aggressive, wow. but he was also very... Um, hardworking and uh, passionate about this uh, beautiful game. So his presence on the ground was uh, phenomenal. Um, I, see, I see great potential in you, buddy. And, um, I feel all the success. Um, and may God bless you and uh, your family and showers you with all the happiness. That's just, beautiful. So Thank that was Siren Trumpel, who was also an ex, you know, player. He said, mm -hmm. you know, please. So tell us about tell us about uh, team team spirit. Do you guys also, you know, Tibetan artists also are normally they're all close to each other. But when it comes to oh, call a concert, raso offer ngala ram maso maso that sense of jealousy uh -huh. and competition does that happen among sports players, especially football players? Uh, it's normal. I think uh, it happens. Every Everywhere it doesn't it doesn't matter if it's uh, uh, if it's uh, music sports or education. There's yeah. always um, it's good that you have it like that, but it's good. Uh, what do you call? It? It's a very thin line between a jealousy, or, um, like a bad way, or like a jealousy where you wanna you wanna Beautiful. work work harder and uh, be better. So it's very thin. A lot of people get confused with that, and a lot yeah. of people other side but uh, uh in sports yes we have uh this kind of moments where one player gets signed and one yeah. player uh, playing on a good team stuff like that it's like oh man we played in the same team yeah. you get a hey, what am i doing you know stuff like that so yeah. something like that it just kind of makes me drive more and just go out there and uh train train more and then uh and then play better yeah. You know? So you will, um, you know, because I know that you um, are at your store and you're working and you have very limited time, but you still agreed to come to our show. I have two more questions today for our interview. Uh, uh -huh. And our first and then, you know, our second last question, you just said that, you know, training hard. How much training is required in soccer? How many times do you train? How many hours do you exercise? Can you motivate us a bit? Uh, train. The number one thing is train smart. You can you can train every day, six hours a day, seven days a week. But if you're not training smart, you're only abusing your body, right? So mm -hmm. number, one, just like any other thing, um, 
any any other uh, sports or or academic whatever. There's always there's always should be a a limit, and there's always should be um, uh, uh, like oh I, I want to train this to get to this certain level. You just don't train to train. Uh, it doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, to train to train to be in certain level is always push yourself to your limit. You know, Beautiful. the limit, and you can put still push and train. That's mm-hmm. that's when you when you will feel like, hey, I'm getting somewhere. You know, absolutely, absolutely. Wow, the intensity, the kinds of training, the intensity. It's what's that is that we don't do any no. physical activity during the day. Oh my god, I I don't know about soccer, but I definitely feel like I'm going to turn into a whole soccer field if I don't ex. <laughs> it's it's like a lot of people like I in a way I don't blame a lot of players, um, especially you know a players where yeah I'm gonna train but then train for what, right? Like mm-hmm. nobody gonna train to train just to train, right? Either mm-hmm. somebody train to get a better body, someone wanna train to lose weight, someone wanna mm-hmm. train. To play in certain teams or play in a tournament, like you know, you need to have a goal, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, or, or at least the minimum is train or exercise to to keep your body healthy. You know, yeah. Yeah. one thing is to love your love yourself. So if your body is healthy, you can keep everyone's healthy. Like you know, you can help everyone else and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, it's. Train to do some, but like have a set of like a set of a goal. Cool. You know, hey, I wanna mm-hmm. train because I wanna be faster. I wanna train because mm-hmm. I wanna be stronger. Like have a goal and then work towards it. You wanna get there sooner or later. Before before we let you go, Yugel, um, you know, I, I I do understand that there are many Tibetan soccer players in our community who are way more socially social media active. You know, a lot of people know them more than they know you, Gil. And a lot of people may question that, why have we brought you to the show and not them? Uh, I just want to let all my viewers know who will be watching us live now and even on YouTube. You, Gil, is not just a soccer player in the Tibetan national team. He's had a share of achievements in other international leagues also. So if you want to know, uh, you know, Korangi, I'm going to put it up on the story uh, because... You know, obviously, no filter, Nala. We have 35 minutes of interview time, and we may not uh, be able to touch base on all of that. But if you want to be someone who need to be inspired by um, the sports and you want to get more information, this is the guy I think you can, you know, personally message in Kurangi and Karjane. He's, you've also, you know, um, seen a lot of challenges in your life in yeah. terms of uh, football, Rawa. Um, yeah. I want to ask one thing, uh, Yugil. Uh, in New York, I think in U.S. you play for the Snowline Club, right? Uh, in U.S., the Masugi Pebagi Tinta tournament every every year. There's a couple of tournaments. Yeah. And with tournaments for Tibetan team, yes, Snowline. Snowline Club. Snowline Club, the Pebagi Tinta, and then you guys have won for every uh, the North America GCM. How many times did you all win? Oh, <laughs> not just not GCM. We Which we one have. Is it? First, um, uh, Dalai Lama Cup, one of the biggest. The, da- the Dalai Lama, I know, I sang for the Dalai Lama Cup. How can I forget? Yeah. yeah so you, yeah, you saw me sing, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you know that Snowline Club, uh, you play for Snowline Club. Right. Yeah. Uh, how different is it playing for, you know, a small a club, you know, with mm-hmm. locally Dela? And yeah. how different is it playing for. So apart from that, have you played for for any other club, or just Snowline Club and Tibetan National Team are the two cl- uh, teams that you play for? Uh, I mean, I have played many clubs. I have played many clubs. They're not the only uh, clubs that I had played. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, it's more like a team that I play for. But then there's actual clubs like good level clubs, um, such as Cosmopolitan League, which is Division One, which is probably uh, the best uh, amateur uh, division in. Yeah. Uh, New York. Uh, I played a couple of teams in that league. Um, I traveled different countries. Uh, played over there. Tried you played in France, also, is it? Yeah, uh, yeah. 
I I actually trained with a couple of professional players, friends that I have that play for. Can like you can you name can you name a few professional? Uh, yeah, it's like um. So one friend I play I trained with is called Devin Yao. Is uh he's one guy that I know since he was I think I believe it was like sixteen seventeen when he signed his first professional contract with Ipswich when they were in. Oh Premier. no! Wow. He was only 18 years old when he uh, signed his first professional contract uh, with Ipswich Town when they were in Premier League. Um, then, uh, then I played, I, I trained and played with uh, my friend called uh, Roma Mentanier. He's a really good friend of mine. Uh, he plays in the MLS right now. For mm -hmm. um, every now and then, I keep in touch. But uh, when he do come to New York, and if it's a good weather and it's not COVID season, we kind of play touch up all each other and you know um, uh, play a little bit friendly games so when you say all this uh, the French player the Locho Gela he's made this he's signed up for this uh, brand and all of that I uh -huh. wish our Tibetan young youth can also you know go up to that level yeah right? yeah yeah but um. it's that's a thing I mean I, I want I, I wish it's not as easy as, as, as I'm saying it but it will be really good if if our our like yeah. really focus on the youth when i say youth i'm not talking about u18 u17 17 18 19 stuff like that because mm. in the professional world mm. if you're 16 17 and you're not professional already then they will they will put you in the category where you're kind of falling down you know yeah yeah uh, the professional career starts around 15, 16, yeah. you know, uh, but development part where you want to really develop kids mm. Mm. to a next level. You got to start mm. ages 9, 10, 11. Totally. And there, what it do is, uh, what it does, sorry, what it does mm. is when you train around that age, right, mm. they have, first of all, their mind is fresh. They adapt things quick, you know. Uh, you 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 teach them a right nutrition. You teach them mm. a right way to train yourself. You know, Absolutely. get better, yeah. get back on on things that they're actually good at. You can spot players that, as a player, I know if kid can when they juggle the ball, I can tell that if this kid can play or not. Easy as that. And if you focus on that, not just playing professional. You know, one thing that I I don't know. Um, in India, I feel like it could have been done is we could have easily have scouts over. You know, there's so many international students that get full scholarship in colleges, right? And the internationals coming from from ed everywhere, Africa, uh, uh, a Asia, mm. you know, Europe, and all that stuff. Mm. How do they come over here? It's because they've been scouted. You know, uh, right now there's social media, there's cameras, there's everything. Everybody have access to internet, so yeah. there's a lot of games going on. You play friendly games and stuff like that. Have a videotape, you know, and just yeah. send it to yeah. the schools and stuff like that. But when you do that, what what do what you have is at least they know you exist and they have mm -hmm. a player in the back of their mind, mm -hmm. and that's how players get opportunity like that over here. Absolutely, where, where mm -hmm. kids in high school. Uh, a very young age, like academy, U11, U12, the parents actually record their games, you know, um, every game, they make a little highlight and they send it to coaches, you know, scouts and stuff like that. And if yeah. they're like, out and say, hey, I think your yeah. son is good. Uh, I, can, might, I can might help your son to get a contract or to get him a uh, scholarship and stuff like that because in, in that – they have their benefit because they make the money out of that, right? And yes, you get because yeah. you either get all three, right, or four four years full scholarship on the D one, where probably your big ones, or you get you, you're lucky enough you're gonna get signed in a professional contract. So oh. there's a, it's a, yeah, there's, there's a lot of there's a lot of now this generation is getting easier and easier to get yeah. exposed. Yeah. Not before because yeah. this generation you have social medias, yeah. you have. YouTube. Like everybody can just one click away to watch your highlights. You know, if you Perfect, really yeah. yeah. This yeah. is this I wanna I wanna this is a very good message you girl said. All the youth, whoever you're gonna watch this live, if mm -hmm. you are someone who are passionate about soccer, 
ทีนี้ทีนี้ทีนี้ทีนี้ทีนี้ทีนี้ทีนี้ทีนี้ทีนี้ทีนี้ทีนี้ทีนี้ทีนี้ทีนี้ทีนี้ทีนี้ทีน
101%. Like, I'll give you all the information that I know. I, I don't want to keep like, things, oh, I don't want to share my information. I don't want him to be in the level. That's the last thing I would do. Like, I Thank want you. To, Thank you, Yuka. to be there. So I'll, I'll give you all the information. Hey, there's this league, there's that league. You should try this, you should try that. Because I want to see our our people or Nepali, Nepali, Burmese, whoever. Is whoever. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. I love that. If you, if my viewers who are watching, you yeah. just said, I just don't want only the Tibetan youth to improve. I just want whether you're a Bhutanese, whether you're Nepali, whoever you are, you know. Thank you. Now, that means a lot. Like I have all the friends and every now and then they do ask me, I even in a store, even random Random person comes and say, "Hey, I just moved. Uh, I just moved to New York recently. I'm looking for a good competitive, uh, a league or a team to play." And I'm always there. I'm always giving information. Hey, this is a league over here. You should play this. You should play that. You should try this. Because I don't lose nothing. Like if you really want it, you go and try it. If you don't do it, I I really don't care. Like I'll give you the information that I yeah. know, and rest is in you. You know what I mean? Stuff Thank like, you, Miguel. That yeah. is so sweet. That is so yeah. That's a, that's. That's a very straightforward, that's, um, you know, a very direct message. Yeah. You're here to help out and then rest yes. is all up to other rest individuals. All, right? yeah. One thing I have, I want to, I want to tell uh, me that the young generation or, or the next generation, they're actually trying to be professionals, uh, you know, on the path, they're training, they're trying to go. One thing that you got to keep in your mind is don't have no expectation. Like nobody owns you anything. Like just work on yourself, uh, just work on yourself, believe in yourself, and just, uh, just, just, just focus. You know, don't don't expect. Oh, he didn't did this, he didn't did that, he didn't say it like that, he didn't he didn't say nice thing about me. Nobody owns you anything. Period. 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 That's wow, it. That's a great message. Yeah. End of the day, because this is one thing that I have learned through my journey. Being in, uh, being in France, uh, Belgium, um, Switzerland, and all that stuff that I have, been, uh, countries that I've been to, trying to play professional. The one thing I have learned with myself is, at the end of the day, they don't have to do it. They don't have to see me play. They don't have to, like, have me sign to the contract, you know. It's just, I need to. So I just gotta, just gotta stay focused. Uh, Keep on working hard, and uh, eventually, eventually, you will get a chance, and you will, you will get to have opportunity to play in that level. Stay focused. Wow! On that note, I was about to tell you, do you have a message for everybody before you yes. leave? But you just did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you said right. it so beautifully. Do not yeah. have any expectations from anyone, and you yeah. go for it. You go for your goal. Yeah. Be yourself. Be yourself. You, you don't need to act a certain type of way where you, you're going to have an attitude, right? When yeah. when I say this, it's it's only going to benefit you because when you expect things and and it will disappoint you, it's, it will, you're, when you're going up like this, it will really, it will really put you down, you know? Uh, it happened to me many times where, uh, why am I doing this? You know, like, why am I away from my family, away from uh, away from Tsarova or my family and stuff like that? My friends, you know, in this uh, in this country, well, it happened to me in Switzerland when I was trying to play uh, and sign this team, and I was this close where uh, where I was about to. But then there's a, there's many things that in soccer that needs to put together to become one, which is not only talent hard worker but it takes a little bit of luck it takes some paperwork it takes a lot of things <laughs> a lot of things to add to become one thing so okay. uh, yeah so i struggle a lot because of the paper uh i struggle a lot because of my language barrier i struggle a lot with uh with certain playing style of that country you have so you just learn from it you know always trying to learn hey um this this happen? What can I do better next time when I go? And uh, oh, and the last thing I want to say before, uh, maybe before I leave, uh, is uh, that that was the message that I want to say is as a parent, right? To the parents, mm. when you send your kid to a college, right? To be mm -hmm. a doctor, be a lawyer, to be a nurse, whatever, you spend money, right? Why do you spend money? Because source of uh, investment, 
so you can, you know, in the future you can get the job and stuff like that. So in sports, whether it's playing soccer, basketball, whatever is it, right? Uh, as a parent, just think of it as an investment because you'll only be able to uh, uh, to achieve something when you invest in yourself. You only make to, you will only will able to make money when you invest money, right? Uh, just like that. So uh, just think of when you send him to your kid to a good academy, you know, to a tournament or to to like uh, the Tibetan national team, uh, the the like program in a red tournament in a red. When you send it, just think it's an investment. You know, you 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 investing money on something where it will get you somewhere. You know, you learn from it. Is in, in the end of the day, it's education. So when I when I invest in myself a lot, right? So when I went to Swiss, Germany, all that stuff, from there I learned. I learned the way of play, the way of mentality, how how they think as a player, you know, how they train, and all that stuff. And when I came back to my uh, to to America, I I used those resources to to coach kids, you know, uh, to train others and to train myself. So I use those resources. And at the end of the day, those things will eventually make, helping me make money and, uh, and really, you know, uh, giving me more opportunities. You know, I know mm. a lot of people now uh, doing that. Uh, you socialize, you keep in touch with great people. Now that I have, I played that certain level, I know a lot of people that are, that are have been accomplished, and have you know like um, like ex professional players, you know the play, people that actually are soccer agent that helping players sign the uh, professional contracts and stuff like that. I know all of those people. Why is absolutely? Only, you know, uh, I went out to play. I know people, uh, stuff like that. So yeah. invest in yourself. And end of the day, investment, Think investment. Hip hop, so all all the Himalayan parents. Yeah. Go and study. Sit down only and study. No going and playing. Yeah. We need to try to change our attitude a little bit. All the parents, I think this is a brilliant message from our guest today. Yeah. Uh, if you notice that your child is also good at sports, invest. Mm -hmm. As you would invest when you send them to a school to, a school to become a doctor or an engineer. Uh, also, try to see it as um, an investment if they are really good at sports. Because sports has a brilliant future. Um, that is something that our Himalayan community needs to, you know, I think, build up a little. I'm sure. Um, I'm yeah. sure. People know it's. It's not like the the, the people up there that don't know about it. I'm sure they know. But uh, I'm just reminding. It's not yeah. like oh, no. I'm. It's like new information. It's just a yeah. reminder that hey, at the end of the day, you invested. You know. Yeah. So there's someone here. Tenzin Zaydan said Yishila plays talk Yishila's daughter. I, I am a huge football lover, okay? Mm -hmm. But I don't know how to play, obviously. I can play, but but I do send my daughter because I want my daughter to also be a professional soccer player someday. <laughs> oh, you want... Exactly. It's, yeah. No, in the end of the day, uh, you, don't, you don't know till you try, right? Absolutely. You, just like lottery. If you don't play, you don't win. Just like yeah. that. You know? <laughs> <You don't play. laughs> yeah. I'm really bad at lottery. Yeah, oh. but I'm, yeah, but then oh, this there's um, I this one thing that um I say to myself long back, uh, twenty twenty um two thousand ten two thousand nine when I kind of started playing really uh actively and trying to play high level. That's when I caught a biggest injury of my life, which I broke my jaw, and at that time my mom came uh. Uh, uh, my mom was at Central Park. She rushed in. She came in. I remember saying that very clear. I said, when you roll the dice, you pay the price. Ah, oh, yeah. beautiful. I said that yeah. to her. And then that's one thing that kept me in my mind because uh, I went to a college tour and I saw that big coat on a wall that says, when you roll the dice, you pay the price. And it really hit me hard. And then and that the whole, my whole injury journey I had with my broken jaw, that was only one thing that go in my head. I could have mm. easily give up, say, oh, I don't want to play again. I'm probably going to get hurt, you know, maybe get serious injury. 
but it didn't stop me because one thing that kept me going is now I came that yeah. far. Gotta make something. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, you girl. This was one very, very eye-opening interview for me and for a lot of Tibetan parents, for a lot of youth who wants to pursue, uh, you know, soccer in the future, not just restricting to Tibetan clubs and Nepalese clubs and Bhutanese clubs. There are international leagues also. They could try and make it out a career out of it. Like they say, when you roll the dice, you got to pay a price. So go for it. Roll that dice. You mm-hmm. either get it or you don't. But you will not regret it. Mare. <laughs> yeah. Ah, so on that note, I would like to say thank you so much, Yuvel, for coming to No Filter. We do understand you had very limited time, but you came and you, you know, expressed everything, you know, that you had. And uh, we wish you nothing but success in life. Yeah, you are such a young, even though you're a father of a one-year-old, you are still a young, talented player out there. You haven't reached and the low game going to lie, Omar. So go for it. And, mm-hmm. you know, future Lakharicha Vaynere, please continue to inspire us. And we are so happy you came to our show. And, yeah, uh, yeah thank you so much, Yugil. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, take care. Bye. Yeah. Uh, so, thank, you know, for people who watch this live, I know... Uh, unlike, um, you know, when we, we bring a guest, we, uh, whether it's an actor or a singer, we do have many viewers. And uh, when we bring a sports person, it wouldn't be all that higher as them. But again, No Filter does not believe in quantity. We believe in quality content. We keep saying that. So whether we do not have enough views on a certain guest does not necessarily mean our guest was not good enough. We had a guest who shared his experiences out of 100 people, if one person's life, Yugil could have changed, we have reached our achievement. We have reached our goal. That is what No Filter uh, aspires, No Filter aims. Um, We will continue to do that. We do not care whether people are saying that your views are going down. We do not uh, care whether people are saying that it's a boring talk show. It may be boring to you, because maybe you're someone who does not like soccer, but it's interesting to someone who could have learned and would have um, you know, applied so much from this interview. So we will go on, whether you like it or not. And I will continue to speak in English because now No Filter has spread its viewers all over the Himalayan community. And as a Tibetan who started as a Tibetan talk show, I did very, very religiously speak in Tibetan. I tried my level best, but I still got trolled for my language. So I will now speak in Tibetan. If you all don't find it interesting, you all don't have to watch, but I have tried my level best. Um, Yugen here uh, has a lot of achievements. I'm going to lay it down on my story. For my Bhutanese viewers, Nepalese viewers, you do not have to restrict, you know, getting inspired from just a Nepali football player or a Bhutanese football player. There's so much to learn from the entire Himalayan community. Uh, no Filter will try to bring all Himalayan communities together, whether irrespective our government does not agree with each other, whether Nepal's government may not be super nice to the Tibetan people, you know, but as long as art is concerned, as long as sports is concerned, our people can all unite. That is the aim of No Filter. The government can have differences, but the people will always be one. That is the aim of No Filter. And on that note, I want to end this No Filter with a positive note saying, let's try to be at least, you know, good throughout the day. Try to refrain saying anything mean to anybody because it says a lot about you. All right. So thank you so much for still tuning in to No Filter. We have reached all the way to season nine and episode two. Our next episodes are going to be even more interesting, whether we get only one viewer or we get a thousand viewer. No Filter team does not really care. What we care about is changing the uh, the community in a positive way, making changes in a positive manner. Thank you so much for tuning uh, on to the second episode. And we had a great time. I hope you did. Please leave in uh, your comments in my inbox and let me know how much you've learned from today's interview. Thank you. And you can watch the full episode on my YouTube channel, Why Can't Official. Take care.